<sighs> well, I promised I would talk about it, and so I am. Hello everyone, and welcome to Monday. E3 happened today. Well, some of the conferences that happened during E3 happened today. Um, and I'd like to talk about some of the games that were shown off. Um, Bethesda had their conference, I guess, um, yesterday. And they talked about Fallout 4. I didn't get to see that conference, however. Um, but I did get, get I did get to see uh, most, if not all, of the conferences today. Um, first off, um, uh, Xbox One is getting uh, backwards compatibility support. I think that's really cool. Um, that was kind of my only <laughs> only excuse for not getting an Xbox One, so at some point I'm probably going to wind up getting an Xbox One. Uh, it'll definitely be after I get my computer up and running, though, so... Yeah, might be a while. Um, they showed off HoloLens at the, uh, at the Microsoft uh, conference. Uh, pretty much this guy had a, a tabletop width... Um, a tabletop width area in front of him, and he was able to scroll through a little Minecraft world. Um, I find that really interesting. Uh, in both a good and a bad way. First off, the bad way, because in the concept video it showed Minecraft like busting out of surfaces in your living room or whatever. But in the way this guy was showing it, it was pretty much just a, like a, a, a table kind of thing. Which isn't necessarily bad, but I would like to see what they do with it uh, in the future. Um, if they if they integrate some of the stuff that they showed in the original trailer for HoloLens, that would be awesome. Um, one other thing, uh, servers. Servers would be good for that kind of thing. Uh, being able to move throughout a world. Um, not... <sighs> Not tailor made to your your house, your room, your whatever, but a, a, a putting down a tabletop uh, game and having other people join your game that would be cool. Um, but I, again, I'd like I'd like to see where they're where they're going with that. Uh, it's going to release sometime in the Windows 10 time frame, which is like a month or so from now at this point. Um, like in fact, a little bit over a month, under a month. I don't remember. Um, but then I, I'm, I'm getting the, the sequence of conferences, so if I jump back and forth a lot, then I apologize. Um, to, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I am excited about Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, it looks really good. The graphics seem really, really well, really, really well done. The, um... Uh, the gameplay seems extremely similar to what Tomb Raider was, which is good, but I'd like to see where they're going to, ex going to expand on that. Um, uh, Jonah comes along for uh, most, if not all, of the adventure, according to what they said at the uh, at the conference. Um, and it, it, uh, according to what they said at the conference, uh, it takes place in Siberia or something. I don't remember. Uh, some really snowy place, but there's also a desert kind of place that they teased somewhere. I don't remember. Um, I'm probably just going to be jumping through a bunch of games here, so I'm, it all it's kind of a blur to me. Um, Rush and Clank, the movie, the game. Um, <laughs> interesting. It's it's a retelling and repurposing and reimagining of the original Rush and Clank game. Um, and I believe it's tailored to better fit the the future series, the Retro Clank future series. Um, I say more power to them. Um, seriously, it, it's, it looks like a great great game so far. Uh, it borrows a lot from both the future uh, future games and the first game, which I am extremely intrigued by. So more power to them. I'd love to see the movie come out, uh, and it's supposed to come out right is right along uh, the same time as the game does so they'll be connected and according to what one guy said um, 
the movie and the game kind of tie in together by telling two sides of the same story or something like that. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Um, I, I, I can't wait to see uh, Captain Quark again. Of course, I, I have Ratchet and Clank for uh, PS2, but seeing him in that kind of setting and an HD would be awesome. Um, really short, really, really short trailer. But I'm extremely excited about Mass Effect Andromeda. <sighs> Excuse me, I just... I just... Mass Effect Andromeda. It looks so... It looks, it looks so beautiful. <sighs> Yay. EA, don't, don't mess up my favorite galaxy, please, if you're going to make it based on my favorite galaxy, please don't make it suck, please, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, excited for Ma Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, it was a really short trailer, it only occurred at the beginning of, uh, EA, I guess, I think. Yeah, EA. Uh, it only occurred at the beginning of the EA conference, and they didn't really talk all that much about it afterwards. Um, Ubisoft, I believe, is publishing a game called Unravel. It's interesting because a lot of things are becoming yarn nowadays. Um, it looks interesting uh, as just a, a kind of a basic platformer. Um, though it looks really cute as it's, it's an HD, it's, uh, based on an unravel mechanic, like you gotta think about what, what you're doing with your yarn before you do it so that you don't, um, run out of yarn or something like that. Um, they didn't go into too much detail about the game mechanics, this is why I'm, I'm kind of speculating, but I'm speculating, speculating based off of basic knowledge. Um... The new Tom Clancy game looks looks interesting. Uh, not a huge fan of Tom Clancy games, but uh, after watching the trailer, I was like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. Uh, the fact that they're bringing the Tom Clancy series into an open world environment, that's intriguing to me. Um, of course, Sony showed off a little bit of Uncharted 4. It looks really, 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 really good with the new visuals. Um, and an interesting... Interesting trailer. Um, it, it's it's about what you would expect a trailer for to be, but with really great visuals. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, I'm excited for the return of Nathan Drake and uh, excited to watch Stephen play through it. Last Guardian was announced. I guess um, it was announced before, but this time they're actually giving a basic release date for The Last Guardian. For those of you who do not know, uh, The Last Guardian is the third game in the Ico series. Ico? Ico? I think it's Ico. I don't remember. Um, pretty much it's Shadow of the Colossus, Ico, and uh, Last Guardian. So, I really love Shadow of the Colossus. I want to play Ico, or Ico, and Last Guardian now. Just to get a whole, whole broad spectrum of the story. Um... Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Um, there was a lot, a lot, a lot of Star Wars. <laughs> um, they got a new expansion out for Knights of the Old Republic, which looks rather interesting. Uh, the, the trailer certainly certainly play, uh, painted a big picture. And uh, I'm not a huge player of Old Republic, but... You never know, I might, I might get into it. Um, why am I leaning? Um, they announced Star Wars Battlefront, which was kind of, I think, spoiled a little bit at, uh, before um, E3 even started. And they showed an awesome looking trailer. Pretty much the entire trailer was based off of the attack on Hoth in Empire Strikes Back. Uh, it looks really, really good. You get to pilot a, uh, a couple of different uh, spaceships and stuff like that. It, it also runs in basically a first-person shooter 
uh, type environment. Uh, and Darth Vader showing up in the end looks pretty freaking cool. Or at least the end of what I saw. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Okay. Okay. Ubisoft, do me a favor, guys. Make this one better than Unity. Please. Please make this one better than Unity. I'm not going to get too hyped up about Syndicate. Um, because the last time I got hyped up for an Assassin's Creed game, I was let down. Pretty harshly. And that's not cool. Um, the fact that Unity got so such bad ratings right out the gate with so many bugs and retarded smartphone opening chests or something, I can't really describe that where, very well, but the, re, the fact that they got so, so many bad reviews that quickly, and even they started to silence them on stuff like Assassin's Creed Unity and Far Cry 4, they started to silence them, the silence their reviews, uh, until they got the bugs fixed. And that's kind of crappy. I'm sorry, Ubisoft, but that's kind of crappy. <sighs> so please, make this one better than Unity. Give me some more hope. Give me some more hope for the Assassin's Creed future. Please. Um, it, for me, the, the the last good game was Assassin's Creed 4, and Assassin's Creed 3 wasn't terribly great. Um, but it, it was still a good game. Um, so please, Ubisoft, fix this. Um, one last game, uh, as far as I remember, uh, Need for Speed, the new Need for Speed game. Uh, it looks great in the new visuals. Um, they talk about like five or six different icons that you're supposed to meet throughout the game. I don't even know who these icons are. Uh, in fact, I think they show one during the trailer. But this trailer made me really reminiscent about playing uh, Need for Speed as, as a kid. And whether or not I'll get it, that remains to be seen. I would love to look at reviews after the game releases and stuff like that to see if I actually want to get it. Maybe I'll do an LP... LP <clears throat> maybe I'll do an LP of it at some point. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <sighs> I have talked a lot. About video games, but I've talked a lot. That is going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, until tomorrow, I'll see you all later.